Okay, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jody, and we are going through LPIC 1, and we've reached to the Mail Transfer Agents, or MTAs. It's kind of a simple one. You don't need to go in depth in any part. Its weight is three because it's important, but it's super easy. Very few commands. You just need to know the general logic of what is an MTA, what it does, create an a email alias, configure emails, and knowledge of commonly available MTAs. No configuration. Also, you need to know a few things here, which are all very easy. But what are MTAs? From the good old days up to now, Unix systems and Geno Linux machines used to rely heavily on mails and mail is a super cool protocol it uses smtp simple mail transfer protocol and the general port is on 25 but why we say it's heavily relies on this we used to have machines in the universities with lots of users and these users were able to email each other and send things on the same machine, local email. So for example, if I'm Jody at Debian, the name of this machine, and you are user at the same machine, I were able to send an email to user and you would see it. Even some of the system tasks are emailed. The famous, whenever you do sudo something and you don't have sudo access, you get a warning. This incident will be reported. Where? It will be an email to the root that this specific users tried to do a sudo without having sudo privilege. So, same protocol works everywhere. This is one very cool thing about the email. When you have a mail, on the same machine from Jody to Smith, Smith will get it. If I say mail to Smith. But if I say mail to Jody Jody at gmail.com, my MTA will know that this email should be delivered to gmail.com. So this will contact gmail.com and says I have one email from Jody, Jody, Jody on my own machine which is called Debian for you for this user gmail may answer back may not for sure it will answer back but most probably says I don't trust you I cannot be sure who is sending email to whom because as, as I told you MTA works with SMTP which is simple mail transfer SMTP protocol and it's a very very basic one practically it works with a uh, normal text in normal English if you have or your MTA up and running so MTA is a program responsible to receive emails and send emails to their targets so if you send an if you connect to your MTA using SMTP protocol on port 25 you can just say hello i am this person and i have an email for this person this is the content send it and mta will obey in most cases at these traditional cases so you can say hello i am obama at white house and i want to send an email to jody jody and tell okay please call me i want to be your friend mta doesn't care mda uh, MTA will put the email in Jody's directory, email directory, which might be var pool Jody, for example, or var pool email Jody, and will put this there. You see, email was not invented for security, and it inherited all these problems. That's why nowadays we have all these emails, the spams that even Gmail cannot 100% fight because email is a very, very, very simple protocol. 
and the same hack used to be done a lot. I used this was one of the first things I learned sending email from someone faking it. Anyway, so that's why we have MTAs. The first MTA was send mail. It was a very, very, very basic and old in the beginning. Later, it started growing and growing. Nowadays, it's a huge software and very difficult to configure and more difficult to configure securely. Very few people may use send mail nowadays, but this is the grandmother of all MTAs. I will repeat, MTA accepts email, delivers email. If you are on a local machine, the delivery means putting it in your email directory with the correct format. If it's for Gmail or any other domain, it will contact an MTA on gmail.com and says, I have this email for you. Send mail is the de facto based on protocol. Older one, which started the ball rolling. Nobody uses it anymore because it's huge and very difficult for configuration. Nowadays, most people use Exim or Postfix. Exim tried to be a more flexible mailer and extensive facilities for checking incoming email. There were rules, do this if this email contains this and these kind of things and lots of ACL access list and those kind of stuff. Postfix is even a newer MTA. If you have a distro with a MTA installed, most probably it will be the postfix. Nowadays, many of the desktop distros do not install MTA by default. You have to install them by yourself. But most servers do have them. As I've told you, one good thing about MTAs and email on your Unix machine is some tasks can email their results or some things are automatically emailed. Your output of all Crohn's are emailed to the owner of the Crohn and you can read them. I will show you how. Nowadays, Postfix is the most common one. It's an alternative to send mail. It's easy to use and understand. Its configurations are very straightforward and it's safe enough. Although Qmail is another option which is super secure. The programmer started Qmail to show that you can write secure software. But it's difficult main to install, configure and everything and very few people use Qmail. That's why Postfix is the de facto one on most servers. If you have a machine and you want to play with your email, <laughs> install the Postfix. This will be your MTA. Also install the MailX package. This will be your email reader. In some cases, it's called BSD MailX. As I've told you, MTA sits here. You can contact it using SMTP, Telnet to its port, which is 25. Say hello from blah, blah to blah, blah, and write your email. Control D will send this. Okay, MTA will accept it and says, okay, this is for Jody. This is Jody's folder for emails. I will put this email there and Jody can go and read this. But doing these things manually is not only difficult, but highly prone to errors. That's why we have softwares like MailX, which gives you the mail command. They can go read these emails from here in a more suitable, modern human way. And also they can easily do this for you. Just say mail, to Jody and they will write and they will accept your subject, your body and will send it. You don't need to know the protocol by yourself. And one more thing which is important is the send mail emulation layer. Send mail was the grandmother of all MTAs. When you are writing a script, you write it in the way that send mail understands because everything started with send mail in our level. So if someone says, no, postfix is more cool. I'm writing a new one. Please use this. People will say, no, we cannot switch to postfix from send mail. Okay, send mail is huge. 
is bloated, is difficult, it's difficult to configure securely, but I have lots of scripts, my user know how to use this and everything. That's why all MTAs do have a send mail emulation layer. For example, mail queue is a command in send mail. I have installed Postfix on my machine and still I have the mail queue command and it does what sent mail's mail queue does. Most of MTAs, including Postfix and Exim for sure, they have an send mail emulation layer that they can emulate being send mail. They can pretend have the same commands as the send mail. So scripts won't break. And if you have a machine, you will know that whoever is doing email, whoever sending email, who is whoever is has configured some commands in a script about email will work regardless of what your uh, MTA is. One more point is aliases. Aliases are different names which point to same place. In the old days, we always had this webmaster at your website. If you have a problem, contact webmaster. Okay, maybe you have a teacher assistant at your university. I might have the email Jody at this and I might have my full name Jody Mirmirani at this. I don't want to check all these emails. So in ETC aliases, I can say that TA points to Jati. If an email came for TA at this machine, send it to Jati. You have a huge list here. This is a Debian 12 machine, bookworm, and I have installed Postfix and BSD Mail X on it. When having Postfix, I have cat etc aliases. It's only one line. It says if an email came for postmaster, send it to root. So you don't need to create lots of different accounts and check all the emails. You can create different emails, but point all of them to the root. Same thing which is happening here. For example, the news at this machine goes to root. Operator goes to root www goes to webmaster and webmaster goes to root. Also, Postfix needs these two to work correctly by itself. So this is the aliases file. You can receive email on different mailboxes and deliver all of them to another users. Here, most of them are root. Remember that whenever you edited this etc aliases, you have to run the new aliases command. I cannot run it at the moment because it needs root permission because we are defining new email addresses on this machine. For sure, someone may come and forward someone else's email for himself. So this needs root access. But let's send a couple of emails. Our main program is mail. It comes from mail x package or on Debian BSD mail x package. Mail. No mail for Jadi. My user is Jadi and no mail for Jadi. I can say mail, send one email to Jadi. It says, okay, what is the subject? Now you have to enter the body. Done. When finished, Control and D. In most cases, Control D ah, does the trick on an empty line. Control D. So, input is done. Do, you, do I have any CC, carbon copy? Should I send the copy to someone else? No. So, just enter and email has been sent. If I run the mail, 
you can see that oh this time i have a new email it comes from jody and debian i've sent an email to jody for myself this is new it's here so if i push enter i will read this email date subject cool so i will just push enter and we'll read it this is the email i can say reply to it thanks having fun when i want to close it Control d will close the input multi-line input on linux machines enter because i don't have any cc now it's sent when i quit the mail or when i see if you want you can do a help and see the help you don't need this for helping go to the next email delete this email reply to this email reply to this and all people in recipients print the email quit quit without applying the changes do not remove system mailboxes and some other stuff for example you even have something as cool as pi pipe message to shell command you can pipe it to some shell command very linux -y or unix -y. okay i will go with q out of the help q i will exit it says okay new mail has arrived it's in jody home jody mbox so this is my mbox this is the saved message because i didn't delete this email and a new mail has arrived because i send an email so if i do a mail i have a new email i can read it i have one message one new okay i read it if i want to delete it i can say delete or i can say delete message from 1 to 12 if i had many messages here i can just say delete enter at end so q i exited this way people can send email for their friends and their colleagues the other students there is also a technique which is nice to know and that's sending email from the command line you can say echo dash e this is the body pipe it to the mail dash s for subject this is subject to who to jody so if i say mail i have a new mail this is the mail i've sent this way you can script the emailing at the end of one script you can send an email for yourself and check it i will delete this one too and exit it so this is how you can check emails even you can send an email to another host up to now i was saying send email to jody which means on the same host i can say send email to jody at gmail.com the subject from my computer body this is from the body part did you get it gmail i don't think so i will tell you why Control d done cc so the email is sent my mta ah, let me do it quickly email queue the email is sent my mta will throw because mail contacted mta said okay i have an email to this address this is the body no cc and mta will try to contact the mta on the gmail domain and tell it i have an email from this user which is jody at debian to this user a few years ago this was working but nowadays it's not working anymore which is fair enough gmail will answer back i do not accept unencrypted unauthenticated unknown emails from jody at debian because you can easily name your computer whitehouse.gov and say it's from jody at whitehouse i do not accept it every time it tries different protocols for security trying to check if the debian's ip is known and it's same as this one reverse lookup or more complicated methods if you want to do this you have to register your domain somewhere and add some data to its registry to make to tell to the google that i know what i'm doing and i'm the person who is claiming to have this 
domain name. But you can do it on your servers if you have a domain name for them. And as I quickly showed you, mail queue will show the emails in the MTA's mail queue. That's why it's called mail queue. It's part of the send mail layer from the postfix uh, package. Mail queue will show that MTA at the moment is processing these emails. In this case, it's a queue ID. This is the size, arrival time to the mail queue, to the MTA, sorry. Mail queue is showing it and it's uh, arrived to the MTA's queue and sender and recipient. Jadi Debian sending for this one. Here you can check if mails are working correctly, if they are being delivered. If I do a mail queue, now my mail queue is empty because this is delivered. Most probably my MTA talked with Gmail. Gmail said no. Let's try it. Mail. I have a new mail. It comes from mailer daemon at Debian and it says undeliverable. Delivered mail returned. Let's read it. Gmail says, my MTA says, sorry, I was not able to handle this one. This is the answer from Gmail SMTP on google.com with this address. It says, this mail is unauthenticated. This is a security risk for the sender and for Gmail users. If you really want to be able to do this, do one of SPF or DKIM authentications. Tell me that this domain is authorized to send emails practically. And it says, you claim to be Debian, but when I checked your IP address, it's not registered at Debian. Fair. If you want more info, go here. If you have a server, you can configure this. I have done this many, many, many times. And a few years ago, this was working even without this. And my different servers, in case of emergencies, disk fools, whatever, can send me emails here on Gmail. So that was it. I will delete this email. We'll exit. Hope you had fun. Try it, install it, play with it, and enjoy it. Emails are super cool because you can see it's a super cool protocol. Different servers can talk with each other and deliver their emails. Just think about Twitter. Twitter cannot do this. Twitter is one website, you tweet. I have learned how to fix this. Twitter is one website, you tweet here and it's here. What would happen if you were able to have different tweeters and say, I have a tweet. Okay, you tweet it on your own instance. But if you were here, you were able to say, I want to follow Jadi on this instance. I want to send a direct message to this user on this instance. This is how Mastodon works. Anyway, hope you had fun, enjoy, learn, and teach. I was joking.